What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Adrian Nice. Welcome back to the show, Mouthing Out. We in Charlotte, North Carolina. Right now, I got... Boy, Lefty Three Times, tapping in all the way from Greenville, Mouthing Out. Yeah, let's get it. The boy came from Greenville, boy. Man, look, <laughs> for about four and a half hours. Well, four hours, I ain't gonna lie to you. My boy cut it down by an hour and a half, though. Yeah. We, go, we slide it for real, yeah. That's real, though. You know, like I was telling him, I was like, I don't like the IG live interviews. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, hell, like you gotta do the in person shit. You yeah, feel man. me? Get a nigga vibe and shit type. Better shit interview, that, man, cause like you can only do so much with the IG live interview, and then if nobody yeah, yeah, tap then connection in, connection be fucked up. Wi Fi probably ain't that's strong enough. That's what I'm enough. saying. Like, yeah, 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 I and then know. yeah, and, that, and if they don't know like how to light themselves or if they in a noisy area, I'll be like, it's over with. <laughs> it's over. That shit's not gonna even gonna work out. So the so in-person shit definitely was. So for those of you trying to get an interview, come to me. I'll get you right. We, we at the world-famous audio box in Charlotte, so you in a good place. Um, lefty. Yep. Yeah, you yeah, born yeah, and raised yeah, in Greenville? Yeah. Hell nah, man. Originally from the Bronx, <laughs> New York. For Bronx, real. Hey, okay. Yeah. But I've been down here since I was nine, though, in Greenville. Nah. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What brought you down here? Was it family just moving? Shit, my dudes. Me and my dudes moved down here and shit. Goddamn. You know just trying to get away from the city type shit. How did y'all find Greenville out of shit, all the places I don't know. to land? Shit. <laughs> Man, shit. I mean, one time, we was, I think I was like eight, you feel me? My dukes left shit. Like, I'm be gone for like a week, so I had to mm-hmm. stay over with my neighbors next door and shit. She left for like a week. She like came back. Like, I found a spot. We about to move to Greenville. I'm like, where? Yeah. But shit, that shit was lit ever since then. Though, yeah, I, I, I'm sure she was a... It was probably... Was priced good as hell compared yeah, cheap to cheap as hell. <laughs> right. New, you know, New York yeah, high as hell. They yeah. tell you something like this be about two bands, boy. Yeah, lie. for yeah, real. Yeah. And so for for people, you know, like my audience who've never been to Greenville, kind of yeah. describe Greenville, how it is, what it looks like, all that. Shit, it's a little up and cup, uh, up and coming city for real, for real. Like hella artists coming out of there too. Hella artists to tap in with. Motherfucker, definitely hard. Shit. I just feel like if everybody be on one page where we get some shit shaking. Yeah. Hey, come on, I could cut it in between. <laughs> okay. Oh, appreciate you. If you do that, bro, I appreciate you 100%. <laughs> I'm going to run that question back and I'm going to cut it in. Right, right. Uh, so for those of the people who've never been to Greenville, never seen it or anything, how would you describe it to them? Shit, a small city, but definitely up and coming. Hella artists coming out of there. Hella people to tap in with. Motherfuckers I'll be working with. Definitely a lot. Hella studios opening up. Like, more shows been coming to the city for real. Hella major artists. So, definitely getting a little door open down that way. What's the difference between Greenville and New York? <laughs> Shit, I <laughs> guess the size for real, for real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. New York is hella people be like side by side, but. Down here, I mean, it's regular for real, for real, a little something, something. Nothing too crazy. Do you ever go back? I try to anyway, but I haven't been. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't been in a couple of years. For you real, you real. still got family up there? Or was it basically just. Yeah, yeah. It's just my stuff? cousin up there now, though, for real. Nobody like Everybody immediate like spread family. it out. Nah, oh, okay. Hell, nah, everybody spread it out and shit. Okay, okay. Um, And what was it like for you growing up in your household? Um, was music in there or what was it like? Shit, nah, it was just me and my dukes for real, you feel me? She was working two jobs. I'd go to school, come home, you feel me? Probably go to grandma house type yep. shit. So it's definitely hard work. That's how it was for me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, I ain't get involved in music to like 16 for real, for real. Okay. One of the older bros and shit. He was like, man, we need to start rapping and shit, you feel me? I want to rap. I don't even think about motherfucking rapping for real, for real. Motherfucker like, shit, well, I got a mic and shit set up in the closet here. Like, uh, I just need a laptop. I was like, shit, bro, I got a laptop, bro. Let's get it. You feel me? Started doing that shit ever since then. Like, shit, been going up since. 
you got siblings, like a sister or brother or anything? Shit, on my mama's side, it's just me, like, but mm-hmm. my daddy's side, I got, like, two sisters, two older brothers and shit. So it was basically just you and the household? Yeah, yeah it was basically just me. I'm, yeah, yeah. Damn, so it was your homies, they was just like, um. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Some, hell yeah, hell yeah. Some my shape. brothers and shit. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah, niggas like, shit, let's get this music in. I used to be nervous at first and shit. Yeah, real, I'm like, nigga, I can't rap for real, too, but <laughs> shit. But as in like a year and a year and a half ago, I really started taking serious, like doing more shows, working with hella artists, getting like interviews and shit like this. And yeah. so, um, I guess out of your, you know, your friends or whatever that was in the music, was it just you that was rapping or are there nah, we other had a home- group. Okay, nah, we had a group and shit. We had a group, goddamn. What was that? Did we get <laughs> yeah, that shit was called Guat Ladder and shit, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> neighborhood shit, you feel me, goddamn. Everybody would, um, the apartment complex you grew up in and shit, goddamn, nice. that shit was lit. Uh, you feel me? Free bro, bro about to come home, one of the bros. You feel and me? Rap, Definitely free shit. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. All right, yeah. So we up. was like a group and shit. We was a trio and shit, goddamn, yeah. but. No, nah, that shit. Go niggas got yeah, got locked up and shit. I was saying, free bro, definitely come a whole soul. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, and so when you got into music, you said you was kind of nervous at first. Kinda yeah, just like, yeah, just right, like yeah. Man, I, can't, I can't. I can't. Gotta get used to I it. I can't fucking rap. Like what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck I'm doing rap? I ain't even no more need to think about. And what people. what made you kind of um, you know, be like, damn, I can do this if I. Actually, shit, when motherfuckers were telling me, was like, shit, like, boy, you hard, you feel me? Like, shit, you nice for real? I'm like, I don't believe that shit for real, for real. Like, you lying <laughs> to me. Like, yeah, you lying to me, like, you, you feel me? But nah, as I started, kept going, kept going. That's what I said after, like, a year, like, year, year and a half ago, like, them bangers, like, dropping hot shit. I was like, fire. What, what, how does, like, your mom think about your music? Or does she know you do music? She's hey yeah, but she passed and shit like almost two years ago. Oh really, shit. bro? Hey yeah, hey yeah. I'm sorry about that. Nah, yeah, I appreciate that game, but shit, you know that just been motivation for me though to hell go even yeah. harder. And so you feel me? That's what I've been doing and shit. You feel me? No, she's still looking. Facts. Um, I can only imagine how that impacted you. Um, do you take that and try to put it into your music at all? Hey, yeah, you'll definitely hear that pain in there. You <laughs> feel me? That's what's gonna make you fuck with you, feel me? Cause Fact. you don't feel everything a nigga going through for real tight shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Definitely got some shit on the way though. Y'all gonna stay tuned for real. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what kind of music do we have out? Already, we're gonna talk about what's coming. Mm-hmm. What do we have out already? Oh shit, we got a lot of we got club bangers out right now. Like my number one, goddamn, I think you feel me. My number one is mentions. You feel me? Definitely, mentions. yeah, mentions. Definitely a club bang. You feel me? Just had a show last night, performed there. Oh shit, did like three songs and shit. We turned up for real. What bangers. club was it? Um, it was at a little studio type shit. Like they be throwing together in Greenville and shit, yeah, just yeah. to get all the artists to tap in. I know and network exactly for what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were just networking for real. Everybody performed. Was lit mm-hmm. for real, but I got like Go shit. Shit, I got shit for the streets. You feel me? I got pain shit. Like however you feeling, you feel me? Whatever. So when you go into the booth or when you start, um, I guess planning, uh, you know, your music or whatever. Mm-hmm. Do you go in thinking like, damn, this is gonna be a a club banger, or you know, now it's time to make something for the streets, or now it's some time to make nah, something for I females, just, or it's just whatever comes up. I mean, shit, whatever really, whenever what I'm writing at that time, you feel me? Like, however I'm feeling, like that's what's gonna come out. If I'm turned up, like I'm gonna make some turn up mm. shit. If I'm in my feelings, like it's definitely about to be some pain. You feel me? For real, for real. So, just depend on how I'm feeling, type shit. But I might just go in there one night, feel good, be like, bro, fuck, we about to do everything. You feel me? <laughs> Play a beat, you know. For real, yeah. Though. Uh, what producers you working with out there? Shit, Bobby Snow right now. You feel me? True Temp Studio. That's where I be going right now. Y'all tap in for real. You feel me? But that's definitely who I'm rocking with all day. And so, speaking of like events, like the one you just mentioned that you performed mm-hmm. at, um, yeah, I just like in your opinion, when artists go to these type of events where it's a lot of people in a room, or it may not be a lot, but just more like fifty yeah, or yeah, however, yeah, 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 yeah. um. But there's also people to network with. How can you take advantage of those situations, in your opinion? Shit, really how I do it. When I walk in the sun like that, you feel me? I, like, play, like, the back type shit, you feel me? Or just wait my turn to perform, see how shit been turning out, you feel me? But if I see somebody who I know, like, kind of buzzing and shit, mm-hmm. you feel me? Like, I'm going to go over there try to talk to him. At least, you feel me? Like, bro, woo, woo, like, yo, check, tap in. Cause I'm <laughs> At like, least say sure. something. Like, I'm about to turn the stage right now, you feel me? So <laughs> tap in with me, for real, yeah. for real. And that happened every time for real, for real. So motherfuckers definitely rocking with me, though. Nice. 
Hell yeah. Um, have you and your um homies ever thought about like moving out to a bigger city, maybe Charlotte or even something bigger than that, like uh, Atlanta? Shit, or something? Hell yeah, definitely to get out of Greenville. You know, they say you don't really get popping until you get out your own city for yep. real, for real. That's how it be though, for real. But I see it slowly, but it's coming though. You <laughs> feel me? That shit is coming though. You feel me? My my views been going up crazy though. Ain't really? gonna lie. Hella shit dropped. I just got drop more videos for real, for real. Do we got some out right now? Music yeah, video? yeah, yeah. Definitely got. I got the uh, May May video out now. I got the Aliens video out now. The Mentions video. The Straight Facts live <laughs> performance. So y'all definitely go tap in Lefty three times. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube Lefty. page. You feel me? How'd you definitely. Get, how'd you get the name Lefty? Shit, really Lefty got them. Times. All right, because I had got shot and shit like three oh, times. Shit. I got shot three times for real. You feel me? Where? Like, like in my stomach. In my arm, and right here, my collarbone. Yeah. You feel me? Then I was like, my left hand was like, I couldn't use it because it was nerve damage, so it was balled up, so I couldn't even use my left hand, you feel me? Yo. So when I was locked up and shit, motherfuckers were like calling me like lefty type shit, you feel me? I was just like, yeah, lefty three times. That's super cool. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> that That's a dope story, though, to add yeah, to your yeah, legacy yeah, or whatever. Yeah, 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 How did you get your hand on the... On just like therapy, just shit, like I was moving and shit. Shit, while well, I was locked up, cause right after I got discharged and shit, I got locked right back. I got locked up mm -hmm. and shit, sir, like 10 months and shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? God damn, I was just in that motherfucker. The old heads was like, <laughs> shit, young boy, you better start fucking with it. You feel me? <laughs> it's gonna stay like I'm this. like, oh, I can't do shit while shit was flapping around, all oh, type shit. What? Bro, but old heads, they got me right there. I ain't gonna lie, they started working out with me and shit. Like, I think, like, as soon as I about to come home, like a month or two before I came home, like, my shit started working, started using my shit. I was good. So yeah. before you started moving it, you couldn't. Like, I couldn't. My shit was like balled up. Like, that's car, crazy. Like, on some, yeah, on some crazy shit for real, for real. Like, yeah. Damn, that's dope. Yeah, hey, that's so, it. Yeah. That's what yeah, hey, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah been, through, like, been through some crazy shit. What crazy. was the shooting over? Like, what? Can I, can we get the sauce? <laughs> oh, shit, got Vaguely. <laughs> shit, yeah, yeah, got them. You feel me? Little something, but got then nothing just a shootout type shit. You got feel you. me? Shootout motherfucker got hit, motherfucker got then I got hit. So shit, I got locked up for that shit, you feel me? But just beat that case though, you feel me? So that's Gucci. Yeah. All right. We'll we'll you good. right there. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> you good, you good. Oh, all right. Um okay. We'll just wait. What was I about to say? So now what, but like what, how was it? Like, was it car to car type shit or was it on the street type shit or was it? Shit, just outside the car type shit, you feel me? Got hit, got down. Niggas out there playing Call of yeah, Duty. Yeah, niggas <laughs> out yeah, definitely not playing out there, you shit. feel me? Yeah, bullshit going on, but. At least you bounced back, Yeah, right? hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, definitely. And That's so this was now. before you started uh, doing music, right? Nah, it was like, like, oh, as soon as like, as I started taking it seriously, you feel me? That shit happened. You feel oh. me? It was like hella shit kept going on. You feel me? Like I had just beat all my charges and shit. So mm -hmm. I was basically the free man from the state type shit. Then I got shot. So I had to go back into the go damn back, bullshit man. all again. So all that weird shit. But that shit done with now. Maybe you got sent back so they can make you him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, though. Definitely, though. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Um, Are you signed to any type of label, management, entertainment company? Or nah, like nah, 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 nah. I'm so just solo, solo. Everything, everything solo, everything coming out of my own pockets, music videos, everything else other than that. Are you trying to post, Are you trying that. to get to a bigger um? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell, or hell is it yeah. more independent grind? Type? I mean, shit. I mean, I'm more of an independent. You feel me? I want to be independent type shit for real, for real. Because I want to learn the business too myself, so... Mm. So as I'm coming along, you feel me, everything will be good. But I feel like me being independent is a good choice for me, though, for real, for real. Unless somebody comes and they talking to number, you <laughs> feel me? Ain't going to lie. Right. Yeah, hey, yeah. But other than that, straight independent, though. If you could sign with a label or if you don't know the label, like an artist who is a label that you'll go to or an artist or whatever. Mm -hmm. Shit, or who I sign to? Yeah. Like, they came knocking on your door. This is the... She, I, ain't need, I ain't even gonna lie. I haven't really even really thought about that for real, for real. It was just on some shit like shit. Who I'm rocking with now, like you feel me? Like niggas ain't gonna build it up. You feel me? I'm definitely gonna have my own shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like I'm definitely not waiting for nobody to knock on the door though. You got like, you gotta go. I gotta go get it. You feel me? Uh, do y'all got like a name for the movement or do? Uh, any? True champ, true champion. True champ. Hey, yeah, true champion. Shit. shit, shit baby. Okay, true yeah. champ. Okay, there y'all go. Y'all tap the fuck Yeah, in. hell yeah, man. <laughs>
Um, so I got this segment called, uh, or uh, do you know what an elevator pitch is? No. Nah. Okay, cool. So basically, I'm going to paint a picture, mm-hmm. and I'm going to describe a scenario. And so within this scenario, I'm going to have you uh, pitch yourself to these record label executives on why they should sign you, why they should do business with you. Yeah. Okay, and you got one minute to do so. Mm-hmm. All right, you ready? So I'm going to describe the scenario. All right. <laughs> All right, so. That's uh, some crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, boom. So let's say, you know what South by Southwest is? Nah. Uh, you know what Rolling Loud is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so say we at Rolling Loud, right? Mm-hmm. It's thousands of people. Thousands yeah. of motherfuckers. We yeah. got, you know some record label exists. Yeah, hey, some you managers, know they some there looking, you, feel me? you know they in the building. Yeah, that's what's So up. we on stage, right? You got one minute on this stage to talk your talk, pitch yourself on why people should fuck with you and these label executives should sign you. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah, hey, and yeah. go. Shit, definitely, man. I feel like y'all should definitely fuck with me for real, for because I'm bringing the energy, you feel me? When I'm out on that stage, I'm making sure everybody in that crowd is turned up, you feel me? We're going to have a good time. I already know you hear the music. I ain't trying to be cocky, but I already know you're going to fuck with me for real, for real. <laughs> just watch what I do, you feel me? I'll show you better than I can tell you, you feel me? I'm just bringing that energy for real, for real, you feel me? On some tight shit. Yeah, 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 so like that. Hey, else, you, you yeah, yeah, I'll be like, shit, I can just show you better. I can tell you. That's all I can say right there for real, for real. No cap. I can show you better. <laughs> okay. I can take. And uh, go ahead and drop your social media in case somebody sees this interview and they want to tap in. Shit. Lefty Three Times Airware, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Twitter. He had me on everything. Y'all definitely subscribe to my YouTube page on Lefty Three Times for real, for real. Lefty Three Times, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming. All right. So. Um, who are some of your musical inspirations? Shit, um, definitely, <coughs> but definitely, um, uh, Kevin Gates. When I, I got Kevin Gates, I don't hear Kevin Gates a lot, man. To be honest, I ask a lot of artists this. I hear Lil Baby a lot for sure. I hear. I think Young now, boy. I think now it would be like I'm looking up to like little baby type shit. Uh, okay. He's a little bit more of an inspiration type shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I remember one night we had went to the studio with my partner shit. You feel me in the country, and we were all recording and shit. We just like, bro, pick a beat. You feel me? We just gonna freestyle, mind you. I don't freestyle. Yeah, <clears throat> not at all. Barely. I barely do that shit. I, I write my shit because I know if I write my shit, my shit gonna be a banger off. Yep. You feel me? Yep. But um. Hey, yeah, 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 what up, what up? Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, but, um. So you write? Yeah, hey, I mainly write, but sometimes I'll be in that mood, the freestyle type shit, for real, mm-hmm. for real, you feel me? So I'll be freestyling, but we went in that bitch, we freestyling shit, like, nonstop, like, the whole verse from hook to hook type shit, you feel me? I freestyle without fucking up. It was like, they were like, one of them, like, bro, who, like, who you like to listen to and shit, you feel me? I told him Kevin Gates, he was like... <laughs> <laughs> nah, nigga, like, they sound like you little baby or some uh, type of shit, for okay. real, for real. Hey, yeah, so that type of shit. Hey, yeah. So, Kevin Gates. Hey, yeah, definitely be talking that shit. What about boy. Kevin Gates? Oh, he's talking that, he just talking that shit, you feel me? Felt like he hitting every point of subject that the that. nigga going through, you feel me? Like, he got something for everything, you feel me? That's, That's how I fact. try to be, you feel me? Like, he has some shit turn you up, get you in your feelings, when you sad type shit, you feel me? Yeah. Well, Kevin? You know, yeah, definitely. Fuck with my boy, you know. (laughs) Tapping with him, him. fuck with my boy. (laughs) Yeah. All right, hold on. You on? I'm about to say you say you can talk. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, what I do is um, so like the music they can't we can't really hear the music anyway, but um, when we stop or whatever, um, I got transitions and everything like that, and I can cut. So we good for sure. Um. Are you ready? <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's talk about your hair real quick. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> Is shit. that a big part of your image? Like, would you ever cut your hair? Or? No, I don't think I cut my hair. I probably trim no shit since, but I. Ain't. The dreads are staying. Yeah, hey, yeah, I probably wake wake up next stop, but for me, <laughs> yeah, I ain't cutting no bitches. Have you uh, like what you had before? You had like waves or something, or <laughs> shit? I just had like the little curly fro, 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 oh, fro okay, little curly okay. type shit. You feel me? Okay, that shit, little fro type shit. Um, <clears throat> so you said, did you say you you are trying to stay in like the Green Bay area, or you said you trying 
you would be nah, down Nah, definitely. To move out. Only reason why I say nah, I can't leave the city because I am on probation currently right now. Got you. Me, so can't leave out the city for right now type shit. But definitely move to a bigger city though soon. You feel me? Especially when the buzz start coming up for real. Facts, man. Where do you want to take your career? Shit, to the high ups, to the top, where nobody else can't get to <laughs> shit. Hopefully on Jay Z and level them, but shit, just make it for real, for real. Like you feel me? Do you think Jay Z is like the um the pinnacle, like the that an artist can reach type of thing? You know what I'm saying? If a nigga fucking, with, if you fucking with Jay Z, rock Jay Z, yeah, 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 you got to get motherfucking top shit. Yeah. yeah. For real, you, for real. Is anybody past Jay Z? You would think. I mean, right I, would, now? I wouldn't think so, but I mean, I don't put standards on nobody for real. For real. You feel yeah. me? You never know who. It might be a motherfucker out here you've never heard about above everybody type shit. Yeah. For real. What about Drake? Yeah, he definitely up there too. <laughs> Niggas got fucking with Drake. You don't think has he passed Jay Z though? That's the question. Nah, not yet. I don't, I don't think know. so either. I don't know. What about Kanye? He getting there. He about there on the same damn level. Shit, Kanye on some different shit. <laughs> for real. He in his own How you world. feel about Kanye? I mean, shit, cool. I don't got no no problem with um. Yeah, he feel me. Nothing really. I don't really listen to him. Feel me. So I really? can't really say I don't really listen to Kanye Dang. like that. Yeah, nah. He he wasn't never like a. There wasn't never like a time that you just kind of tapped. It in. was like back then when he was <laughs> dropping that smoke. You feel me? Yeah. But yeah, then nah. Dang, okay, um well yeah, I mean he he lit right now. Yeah, <laughs> did you watch yeah, his documentary? Yeah. Nah, hell no. Nah. He did nah. Bruh, you gotta watch this. Nah, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't be tapping in with him for Bro, real. Bro, watch his documentary and it's just inspirational, you know, because he is an icon and we don't really get to see um you know, he allowed for this documentary to be made. It wasn't like some outside niggas that kind of pulled clips yeah. and then made the shit. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he allowed the shit. So, you know, if anybody iconic like that, like Drake or fucking Jay-Z, bro, inspiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah, you yeah. I, like gotta, yeah I definitely got to yeah. tap in. Look, there's a scene in this shit. So you know how iconic Kanye is, right? Yeah. There's a scene in this thing. So he knows a producer first. Mm-hmm. So he tried to become a rapper. Yeah. So when... He was rapping, right? Nobody would take him serious. Mm-hmm. So in New York, which you're probably very familiar with, all the record labels is like right there in the same little area. So he's going in these rooms where these record label executives is, right? And he playing his music that I can't remember which ones, but it's super iconic songs. Yeah. And they just not even paying him yeah, attention. Pay him no mind, right? Yeah. Bro, they just working on the computers and he's just like, yeah, but just start playing it. I think I had to see that clip. I think he was, cause he was going crazy in the studio, but everybody was just sitting there tight. Bro, yeah, 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 yeah. you gotta see I that. I think shit. I seen that shit. I'm gonna definitely tap in with it though. How do you feel about him and um, like him and his uh, girl situation, him and Kim? Shit, I don't really be paying no mind to it. I ain't into that for real, for real. <laughs> Child, worry yeah. about what the hell I got going on. So I don't be. Well, so yeah. all right, let me just give you a scenario. I just want to hear how you would handle it. Mm-hmm. So, you got your girl, baby mama. Yeah, and had kids with her, five, five, four kids with her, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> y'all married, you know. Okay, y'all getting a divorce. It happens, right? Yeah. But then you got this skinny white nigga <laughs> come up. That's them been around y'all before. Yeah. Now kicking it with Kim and everything. How would you handle the situation? Would you try to get Kim back? Would you threaten? Pete. Man, I wouldn't give no, <laughs> Pete I wouldn't give dream. two fucks for real. For real. I oh, just really? care okay. about my kids for real, yeah. for real. Just be about my kids type shit. As long as my kids good and I could feel me see my kids and get them when I want to. You feel mm, me? So yeah, it, what okay. if it started affecting that when you see your kids? Yeah, and I'm a blank now. You feel me? You got to go. <laughs> That's what kind of Yeah, you got to go. You also some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, 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 facts. Yeah, I can't see my That's kids. That's some crazy yeah. shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Is there any um celeb? Celebrity crushes or whatever that you like, Kim bad as fuck. Yeah, Kim bad as fuck. I ain't even gonna lie. She <laughs> oh, like I'm that, but shit, you got other motherfuckers like Bernice Berg. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she fine. Yeah, she <laughs> fine. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't know how fucking Kanye got that yeah. shit. Boy. Crazy. Yeah, all right, though. she been around. She's been around a block a couple times. She yeah. definitely been around the whole world. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the um, okay, so. Your inspiration, Kevin Gates. Mm-hmm. If you could get a feature from anybody, who would you get a feature from? Kevin Gates, Lil Baby, or are we choosing somebody else? Mm. Ah, 
I say both really. I want I would want one with Drake and Lil Wayne. Okay. So but then if I had to choose like which one type shit, yeah. I'd go with Lil Baby. Lil Baby, why? <laughs> you mean he definitely me? turned. You your name behind his shit in the song. Yeah, your shit definitely going up. Everything he drops. Hey, yeah, but you definitely got to make sure you match his energy. You feel me? I know true. if I want a song with that nigga, he going to baby turn up. You feel me? <laughs> Might have to go in and do a couple of takes. Yeah. <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah, this shit about to be perfect. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. This when, shit about to be perfect. When you go into the um booth or whatever, um, I know you said you write, but is it kind of like, do you do a couple of takes, or is it you already nah, know in your head? Do, nah, I try to do one take. You feel? I try to just set a standard, like, you feel me? Like, so when I be in the booth and I'm recording, I try to be the hardest person in the room, you feel me, type shit, to where, like, nah, that nigga verse blank, you feel yeah. me? Like, especially when I'm doing features, I try to do be my best, you feel me? Make them have to rewrite yeah, their shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That make you think, like, damn, this nigga hard for real, for real. Like, <laughs> that's how I be doing it, you feel me? Nice. Try to be the hardest. <laughs> And when you coming up with a song, um, do you kind of already have like an idea how you want the song to be, and then you have the producer craft a song around it, or do you find the beats, create the song type shit? I'm mean, shit. Now I'm starting to see. Before I was getting like the YouTube beats, but now I got a young young in right now the Greenville. You feel me? Shout out Kai. You feel me? Produced by Kai. You feel me? He been getting me right. Anything I ask him to, like, bro, this how I feel it. This how I want it right here. You feel me? He like, he right. gonna go cook it up right then. Like, dope. like 10, 15 minutes, he cooked up a beat. We good. Keep those people around you because they're gonna help you, you know, craft your sound, create your sound, you know, as yeah. you get bigger yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Especially when you always in the studio with them. <laughs> exactly. They gonna know, okay, this nigga, you know. Yeah, mix yeah. like it mixed like this, whatever. Then yeah, we, but you still gotta fuck with other people too. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact too. Definitely got a network. Do you like collaborating with people? Shit, hell yeah, I do. I do sometimes. I do, but not really because I haven't really even. You feel me? Mm. Like I'm just starting to get myself right for real. For real, you feel me? Facts. So, but I, yeah, I'll do a feature if I know you for real. For real but I ain't wrong. Be really into it for real, for real. Well, tap in with them, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tap <laughs> in with me though. We can definitely feature though. You feel me? I hit my DM. You feel me? What um. What 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 do we have coming out? What's coming up? Uh, right now I got a video music video lined up since March. All oh, this whole book month for book with the video man. So goddamn, shout out Smite Speed. We gonna goddamn got one oh, set up for um in the building. That's on April me. April tenth or eleventh. You feel me? New video coming out. New ways. I'm definitely gonna do maze. That's not that ain't dropped yet though. But that's definitely gonna drop next upcoming week. So you feel me? <laughs> when you drop your tracks, is there any type of strategy or planning to it, or do you drop to see how people? React I mean, it. shit, definitely put your little promo out, you know, post like a little snippet of maybe uh, see if motherfuckers rocking with it. Like, right there, I should post this type of shit, you feel <laughs> me? You're like, hey, yeah, drop that shit, you feel me? Bro, I get the cover art, you feel me? Woo, woo. Just pick a date and I just drop for real, for real. Can we get kind of like the exclusive of the concept for the music video? Is there a concept or y'all just meeting up? Shit, really things? just shit. I don't, I don't know. I'm still trying to debate my, my <laughs> motherfucking self for real, for real, you feel me? But I don't know. What? Definitely myself, though, you feel me? What's so the song about? A new way, trying to find a new way. Like, like I'm trying to find a new way because the life I'm living, I just might crash. Felt like we grew up way for our time. We were living too fast. Like, you know, shit, shit like that type okay. shit, you feel me? So, I don't know. That's why I'm still thinking, you feel me? Find a new way. You might have to, you know, throw you up on the green screen. We're going to put you on a goddamn tsunami yeah. coming in. Yeah, on my put me in a goddamn car going by 180 <laughs> on the highway. You see yeah. me? For real, yeah, for real. Okay, okay. Shit. So, yeah. Uh, what are you wanting this track to do? Like, what type? Is it numbers? Or you just want people to hear it? Shit, comment? I just want, shit, I just want motherfuckers to view that shit. Because, I, like I said, my views been going. Like, you feel me? Instead of getting, like, 100 views, like, my shit been jumping to, like, 1,000 views now. Nice. So, that's... Kind of good, you feel me? We're gonna get it out there. Not nah, it shows progress, yeah. Shows hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Almost at 10,000 views, like you feel me, like all time type shit. So that's definitely been up in the last couple months, you feel me? So mm. definitely happy for that. For real, for real. <laughs> okay, hey, yeah. Um, so we got your feature. So now, if you could go on tour with any artist, who would you go on tour with? Damn. That's different. We gotta think about that. Shit. We gotta have energy, we gotta think about the crowd, stage presence. I ain't even gonna lie, like, if I was to go on tour, like, they got to be with somebody who already famous. Yeah, it does yeah, it. Right, it yeah, does yeah, yeah, all right. but, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Shit, I don't know. I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know, man. Little baby, he turned well, up. Yeah, I'm telling is. you, like you four PS. He, is turned. he, is he turned. turned up. So little baby, yeah, hey, little yeah, baby hey. over Kevin Gates as far as touring. Yeah, hey, yeah, but I definitely love the tour with Kevin Gates. So this shit go up too, like for yeah, real. But that's who I like. That's who inspired me at first. So it'll be different type shit for real. For real. Um, so I kind of want to pick your brain a little bit, bro. So you know what, like a builder bear is, right? Mm-hmm. You know the little bears that they have at the shop. Kids come in pick and choose how they want it built, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to take that concept and we're going to build an artist, an A-list famous artist. Mm-hmm. So what I want you to do is kind of give me attributes, characteristics. What are things that that artist needs in order to become mainstream superstar status? <laughs> Shit, definitely got the network for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Definitely, that's major key. Make sure you definitely tap in with DJs, interviewers, blog postings, social media influencers, marketing, marketing, you feel me? (laughs) But it's definitely a lot of money that come into it too, though, so you feel me? So you definitely got to have a way of making money as well, you feel Mm. me? Because this music game is not cheap. Like like I said, everything I say come out my own pockets for real, for real. Mm. Like it'd have been time it came out like three, four hundred dollars, like just to go somewhere for real. Jeez, real. But hey, it'd be worth it. Though, dedication, you feel me? To me, it'd be worth it. I didn't yeah. make a, you no. don't see me. I done been through it too. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, bro. So we got we got uh, some networking. little funds and yeah. we got networking. Yeah, funds, networking. What else we need to be definitely you know? an image. You gotta create your image. Gotta you have an me? image. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. You feel me? A different personality type Please, shit. Some type of personality. Yeah, like you gotta be goofy. Like you gotta have like be I can't lie. You got to that's interact true. with the crowd for real type shit. Yeah, type shit. You feel me? Because you're an entertainer. That's what people in tapping in with you for. Like, you entertain them. Type shit, you feel me? <laughs> that's a fact. That's for real, for real. But Anything else? I would say them four streets. Four we strong said, said, points. Entertainer. <clears throat> we money. Got networking money. Uh, 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 image. An image. Yeah, image, hey, entertainer, yeah. Entertainer, networking money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's basically, that's basically <laughs> it. Shit. That's what you need. And so everything you else is probably a little... Deviation of that. But yeah, that, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, that, yeah, that's, yeah. That's good. That's good. That's, yeah. Do you feel like anything's holding you back, or do you feel like you're on your way? It's just time or whatever. Nah, it's just time and shit coming. You feel me? That's shit how I feel. Just taking this course for real, for real, right now. You feel me? Like I said, slowly but surely, it's going up. You feel me? So Thanks. Definitely a get there. Any shows or anything coming up? Uh, not since last night. I don't know about anyone's come upcoming. I ain't seen nothing yet for for real. Like I said. I don't know. We just gonna have to see for for whatever comes to my whatever comes up for for. I definitely try to tap in like anybody who posts a flyer. I try to hit them up like boom, like bro, can I perform type shit? Like how much I gotta? You feel me? Are there a lot of music showcases in uh, Greenville, or do you have to travel somewhere to like Fayetteville or? Like, and Fayetteville's not Raleigh. even that much bigger, but mostly Raleigh. Raleigh, for, yeah, so that's the Raleigh, definitely city. Raleigh. Yeah, for sure. But I did one in Greensboro. Goddamn. So all of them that be yeah. around there. Yeah, those little small cities that be around there. So like Winston Salem, Gre- Greensboro. Nah, I ain't never went to Winston Salem. Just okay. Greensboro, Raleigh, and that's really it. Where I had shows at for for like back and forth between there. Like I had one in Goldsboro, had a couple of Greenville, a couple of Wilson, like a couple of smaller cities. Why you think um uh it's not a lot of that type of stuff going on in Greenville? Is it? I mean, it is coming now. You feel me? Coming now. For real, for real. Everybody trying to tap in with each other, trying to network for it's real. It's a real. studio out there we went to. It's called like Major. Major, uh, Media Majors. Yeah, yeah something yeah, like hey, that. Yeah. Hey, Definitely yeah. tapped in with him. Yeah, they, I think, yeah, that's the one that thing. the baby came down here to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Got a little vibe going on, man. Mm-hmm. What are uh, are there a lot of rappers in Greenville? Yeah, Artists. shit, everybody <laughs> trying to goddamn rap. <laughs> everybody trying to make That's it out in the damn city for real, for real. You just got to stand out for real, for real. How do you stand shit. out, man? Shit, I just be myself. You feel be me? Yourself. That's yeah. You can be the best thing. You, you can feel be. me? I just try to be myself. I don't try to troll nobody. Like that. <laughs> I be chilling in my own lane. So what if a label's just like, yo, we need you to do some type of publicity stunt? <laughs> I ain't doing, I'm not doing no crazy <laughs> shit. Nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got to specify. I don't know what you're you talking about. Dip? Would you throw in a diaper? If you? Nah, I'm not I mean, I know you're no not, but diaper, in that situation, nah. would you? If nah. You was, nah. No, we're not no, going that no, far. No weird <laughs> shit. We're not doing no <laughs> weird shit. <laughs> but that shit went, though. It did. That shit went, it though. It did. I mean, hey, that shit he, went. He turned up. Yeah. But I'm not. Nah, nah, I'm not <laughs> fucking with it. I ain't even gonna lie. I might do some funny shit, you feel me? Like, but other than that nature, like. What if they was like, we need? we gonna create this. Let me see. 
arm three times your size on the left arm. I mean, I'll probably do <laughs> some shit. Like, you talking about like a little around. comedy skit, like, yeah, like fucking with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll do some shit like that for a free okay. film. Yeah, I'll definitely do some shit like that. But, yeah, <laughs> diaper wearing type. Yeah, I'm not dressing up. <laughs> yeah, you know, okay, the extra shit, yeah. Everything's for everybody. Different things for everybody. Hell yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Just for laughs, though. All right, man. Um, so I got this last segment called One Piece of Advice. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> And basically, what I want you to do is give one piece of advice to a certain thing. It could be a group of people. It could be the whole world. It could be, you know, your city, anybody. I'm going to ask, and you're going to give. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. So, first, I want you to give one piece of advice to your homie locked up right now. <laughs> Shit. It'll probably be this is broke country right now. You feel me? Bro locked up for M right now. So, Shit. I mean, it's really not it's just the life we chose for. For like, I mean, you can't change that shit. You either full into it or you're not. You feel just me? Give him, give him some advice. Give him some advice. You know. Shit, just hold your head, hold bro. Coming home yeah. soon for for. He go. gonna stay strong. He got a strong mind. You feel me? He rap too. I okay. definitely can tap in country monkey G. You feel me? Country definitely monkey gonna, G. Definitely that going crazy. It, yeah, that's I his. Yeah, that's his uh um rap name. You feel me? You find him everywhere. All platforms. You feel me? YouTube. Hey, yeah. All right, now give one piece of advice to people in Greenville. Shit. The city of Greenville. <laughs> Motherfuckers need to start tapping in with each other. Shit, for <laughs> for everybody just trying to be in their own lane. Well, yeah. bitch, I don't blame them, though. You feel me type shit. But motherfuckers could definitely work more. You feel me? Like, motherfuckers just feel like they're more popular than everybody, so they don't got to do shit. But they be the motherfuckers. Scratch the surface. be the motherfuckers. Who ain't that popular? That's more harder than the motherfuckers that's popular in the city. You feel me? Mm. Like, real, for real type shit. That's how I be. It go off of popularity in my city. Like, okay. that should be whack. Is it because you think they don't know any better, or I mean, nah, I mean, just however popularity go, you feel me? You know how that shit go. Motherfuckers yeah, follow the lead go. type shit. You feel me? So <laughs> they ain't gonna think about nobody else that's trying to you feel me come up type shit for real. So okay. until they hear you, then they be like, okay, yeah. We that, motherfucker, that motherfucker hard, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. Uh, give one piece of advice to your mom. Your mom been putting in that work. Give one piece of advice to her. Shit, I'm going to keep going. God damn, we're going to make it. You hear me? I'm going to still got there and get that Escalade. Granny, you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Granny, though, but keep grinding. That's it. Um, Give one piece of advice. You're, I'm assuming you're older than 21. Yeah. Give yeah. one piece of advice to 21-year-old you. I think I was locked up. Yeah, yeah what, was you, fact, what nah, was you doing? I was locked up for my 21st birthday, no lie. She. I think I was like, yeah, I was definitely locked up for my 21st birthday. Cause that's when I had got, yeah, that's when I had got shot. Yeah, so I was definitely locked up. So, yeah, also some crazy some shit. Like, <laughs> to that guy. Boy, you should have went home. <laughs> you should have went home, yeah. Should have went home. It is what it is, though. It's life. <laughs> what were you doing on your 21st birthday like? What did you do? Did you do anything for it? I mean, I know you said you was in jail, but like. Man, we just ate. We ate good, you feel me? We had we hella, yeah, we had hella food. Bought hella food and shit. Motherfuckers nice. cooked up. Cooked up with the guys that was in there. That was about it. You feel me? Just chill. Oh, this is just another day for real, for real. Any last words before we slide out of here? Shit, nah, nah, nah. Really, y'all just definitely tap in. Those lefty three times, all platforms. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube page. You feel me? Let's go ahead and spell it out, too, just so they know. L E F T Y three X. Three X. Lefty three times. Ladies and gentlemen, tap in with my boy. Tap in with the music. Most definitely, definitely, definitely. Name of the song, New Waves. Yeah, New Waves, definitely. I'm going to drop a snippet in the next couple of days. Y'all okay, it's stay coming tuned. soon. Y'all let the boy know. Is it fire? Is it what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all going to see it. it on, on, I'm <laughs> gonna, it's going to be posted on the blog site later on. You feel me? Y'all going to see it, though. You feel me? Nice. All right, guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Fucks with my show. We trying to get the subscribers up. Um, visit the world famous audio box in Charlotte, North Carolina. Like I always say, F what you talking about because over here we mouthing out. Yeah, yeah. Peace.